Kelly, middle school language arts teacher and author of Lucia Chronicles. Today's book review is a double YA book review of Between the Lines by Jody Picoult and Samantha Van Leer and Off the Page, which is the companion novel. Now, this is a mother-daughter team. You've probably heard of Jody Picoult because um, she has some amazing um, women's fiction and some amazing um, YA fiction as well. But these books are kind of not like her other books. Um, they are very sweet and I wanted to combine them um, just because there's only two of them and they're kind of similar in terms of what happens. But Between the Lines starts uh, with Delilah and Delilah is kind of a loner and she's got her friend um, Jules who's kind of eclectic and offbeat and basically she finds this um, this kid's fairy tale at the school library and she becomes obsessed with it when the prince in the story Oliver tries to get her attention and the chapters alternate between um, Oliver and Delilah and like an extra narration um, in between the lines and it's color coded which is kind of fun I think so like green is Delilah and I think Oliver yeah Oliver is purple and then the actual just like narration which in this case is the fairy tale itself is black and as you can see there are some really cool illustrations um, that go along and they're from the fairy tale and they go along with the story but really um, what ends up happening is Delilah ends up falling in love with Oliver and they try and get him out of the book. And it takes a lot of trial and error um, before they figure out like is it possible and do they want it to be possible. So and then there's kind of the repercussions of well what happens if we change the book. So that leads to off the page which spoiler alert Oliver comes out of the book. Um, and that's because he switches places with Edgar, which is the son of, or who is the son of the author of the fairy tale. And the fairy tale is called Between the Lines, it's also. And this book also alternates chapters, but instead of um, Delilah, Oliver, and the fairy tale, it's Delilah, Oliver, and Edgar, who's now in the fairy tale. So some things happen. Um, Oliver is basically pretending to be Edgar and he ends up being really popular in school and Delilah is not that popular. She's just, you know, an ordinary girl kind of trying to fit in but then completely okay with just having Jules as her best friend. And it's kind of about how that changes their relationship. And then once um, something happens to Edgar slash Oliver's mom, Jessamine, um, things kind of take a turn and Edgar needs to come out of the story, but at what cost? So basically, these two books go together. You can read them by themselves, but if you're going to read one by itself, I suggest you read Between the Lines. Um, they're super cute stories, um, kind of magical, a little bit realistic, but at the same time, um, they're just really enjoyable. So lately, in between reading some of the heavier things, I've been trying to read some uh, lighter books, and this falls into that category. Actually, what drew me in was at the library, I saw off the page, and I loved the cover of it. Um, so I ended up, was like, oh, I can't just read that one. I have to read the one that comes before it. So then I read between the lines, and I liked it so much that I bought it. And when I bought... Um, when I bought Between the Lines, I bought Off the Page so that I could have both. So, I gave each of these books four stars um, because sometimes you just need something that's kind of light, happy, and happily ever after. So, in the meanwhile, happy reading and happy writing.